How's everyone doing? Adam here from Coding Basics, and welcome to tutorial number 9 in my programming Leap Motion with Python series. Last video, we did our coding for our circle gesture. This video, moving on to a new gesture, specifically the swipe gesture, which we uh, enabled right there. And you want to also make sure that you have imported from the Leap library the swipe gesture object. Now, just to show you what the swipe gesture is, I got it open on Google Chrome. This is the swipe gesture. So, moving your hand back and forth across the uh, Leap Motion controller. I usually find it works better palm down. You might find it better the way they have it here with your pinky down. So, it depends on your Leap Motion controller and which version of the library you're using. Some of them are more accurate than others. Alright, so let's get started now what we're going to do is create an if statement again so just like up here we're going to do an if statement if the uh, gesture dot type equals equals leap dot gesture with a capital G this time dot type underscore swipe colon and then what we're going to uh, in here is what we're going to do with uh, the data for the swipe gesture. So just like the circle one here, we have to typecast our general gesture to a more specific swipe gesture. Each different type of gesture has different data can uh, access. Well, you can access anyway. So we have to typecast it to that swipe gesture to get access to that data. So we're going to create a new variable called swipe. Set it equal to swipe gesture, capital letter is the first letter for each of those, and in the brackets as parameters we're going to pass in gesture. Next, we are just going to print out data on this one just to give you a visual representation. We're not doing any math like we did with the circle one. So print statement. First thing we're going to print out is the swipe ID. Probably mentioned this about a hundred times by now, but for anyone who's new to this series, each gesture, each finger, each hand, each arm, each frame has a unique ID. For gestures, hand, finger, tools, all of those, you, uh, the ID stays the same as long as that hand or gesture is above the controller. Once you take your hand away from the controller, when you bring it back, it's going to have a different ID. So as long as we're swiping with the same hand over back and forth over the controller, it'll have the same swipe ID. But once we remove the hand, then the next time we do a swipe, it'll have a different ID completely. So enough of that talking. We are going to add the string representation of swipe.id. Next, we are going to be printing out the uh, the position. Actually, no. First, we'll do state. I didn't do this. I skipped over it. I had it in my notes, but I skipped over this for the circle one because I didn't really thing was important, but just because this is going to be a quick tutorial, we will print out state this time. So the states are invalid if it's an invalid state. Uh, start if it's the first time it's detected. Update if it's just updating from the last uh, gesture. And then end if it's the last time the gesture is detected. So for that, what we are going to do is put self, because we're referencing this up here. Uh, nope, a little bit further up. We're referencing this list here, uh, part of our class. So, to get that, self dot, what did I call it again? State names, I think. State, yep, state underscore names. And then in the square brackets, we are going to pass in gesture dot state. Make sure your Suggest your states from the same order as mine because that's important. Now, that should be a string, I believe, so we don't have to typecast that. Next is the swipe position. So, uh, the position where the swipe was detected of a th 3D vector. So, position, and then we're going to convert to a string the swipe dot position. And then 
finally, we are going to go over... No, actually, there's two more things. Direction and speed. So first is direction. So that's the vector, which the coordinates represent the direction your swipe is headed towards. So convert to a string. Swipe dot direction. And now, finally, speed. So this is going to be the speed speed in millimeters per second. So I'll put that there just so we remember what the data represents. And for that, we are going to convert to a string swipe dot speed. Con oops, I put wipe. Swipe. All right, now we're good to go. So here in PowerShell, let's launch this. So I'm going to swipe my hand across. There we go. It's getting it. Well, somewhat. It's somewhat getting it, let's say. Okay, now it's working better with my left hand. I switched hands there. And you'll notice, I usually when you swipe across, you kind of take your hand off the sensor, but there was one here. I think it was 436. Yeah, I purposely made sure my hand stayed over it to keep the same ID. So you'll see the first time 436 showed up, the uh, uh, state was start. The successive ones were update. And where is it? Uh, 436, where does this thing end? So right here, start uh, state underscore end. So that was the last one that was picked up. Position vectors are fine. Direction vectors are fine. And the speed goes on to the next level. So I'm moving at about 15 centimeters per second, I believe, how fast my hand was swiping. So I'm going to exit out there, and that is it. That's all I want to talk about for the swipe gesture. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment on the video, give the video a like, and subscribe. Let me know if there's any series you want me to do. I'm going to try to do as many as I can this summer before I go back to school. But I will at least see you in my next tutorial.